I'm back in Denver, and with me is Mr. Muhammad Al Katani, the 2015 World Champion of Public Speaking. And I asked Muhammad to spend a few minutes. Welcome, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank we you for having me. We just watched the 2019 World Championship, a very deserving winner, Aaron Beverly. Uh, Muhammad, I wanted to talk to you for two things. One, yeah. you have a very fascinating backstory. Yeah. You were not born a great speaker, were you? That's right. Uh, uh, I was a mute until the age of six, and. Uh, and even when I started speaking, I suffered from a stammer, which I still have, by the way. And uh, I still stammer, and even though with that, uh, uh, I ended up being the world champion. So, like, I spent my entire childhood avoiding people and avoiding even speaking just one-to-one. -one. It's because I was afraid of people who would laugh at me or mock me or something. Sure. And now when I look back at my life, and, uh, and, 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 and honestly, I'm not saying this as a brag, and like, oh, look at me, look at me. Something. No, the idea here is this: if a if a person who still have a problem with speaking, he still have a problem with the way to say the words, can become the best speaker in the world. If that tells you anything, it it tells you that the word impossible simply does not exist. It simply does not exist. Do not allow anybody, not even those who are close to you, not even your family. To convince you that there's something out of your reach no matter what it is if you're willing to try and try and and learn from every failure through the way you will make it no matter what and i remember those are that's a, not exactly how you say in your acceptance speech. yes and i love people with consistent message and that's been consistent yeah. ever since i met you in 2015. now one other question you have one of the two best openings the other being my mentor darren <laughs> yeah. fall you had one of the two best openings ever yeah. and if you haven't seen i'm going to put a link below this video for, uh, for so people can watch your championship speech okay. the opening where you came out with a cigarette yes. what what inspired that because that was a risk and i remember when you did that the audience go Oh, and your reaction well, was perfect. Well, uh, it was, it was a, a risky move, and actually a lot of people advised me not to, I mean, like, um, to not to actually do it because they might think I'm going to actually light it, and I might, yeah. actually, I might actually be just kicked out of stage. But the reason behind that opening goes back to uh, something that happened like years and years ago, where a friend of mine and I were just outside, and, and, and we were smoking. I'm sorry, I'm a smoker. So we were standing outside and smoking, and this old guy comes in and he goes, "God, you're smoking. It's uh, it's not good for you. It's good." And he started to like advise us, you know. And and my friend stood up and he talked with confidence. He said, "Actually, sir, that's not true. All like all the stuff that you hear in the news about smoke or whatever, this is just propaganda. All of this is." But the way he said it, he said it with with a conviction. Conviction, yeah. To the point that the guy actually bought it. And I bought it too. You bought it too. And then when I asked my friend, he said, well, I just made it up. <laughs> and that was the inspiration for the speech. I thought to myself, if this guy, could, if he could convince someone yeah. that smoking, that we all know is bad for you, yeah. if he could convince someone that smoking is bad, uh, is actually not bad for you, <laughs> then what else can you do with your words? Yeah. And, yeah. that's, and that's when I started writing this speech. Yeah. And, and Muhammad's speech is about the power of words and highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite championship speeches ever. And there was one other moment. I, I'm just going to say when he his, his son is challenging him non-verbally. Yeah. Watch it. So watch the video and then come back and watch this interview. You'll have a little insight. So thank you, my friend. You are, for, most uh, you are a worthy champion. Thank you so you much for having me. Carry the mantle well. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. All right.